Hello everybody, it's me again. King of Digital and today um I'm doing a vlog, kind of kind of a vlog actually. So right now I am in Korila with my family along with some of my friends. Say hello. Say hello to them. Hello. Hi. And is and all the other people we are here and then and then today uh uh, we are going to narrate the story of the of a cow herder. Cow herder. What was a cow herder? Yeah, wadipa. The wadipa. So, so basically, uh, right now we are just going around the statue, and we can probably inside inside of here, like you can see the statue of the wadipa, right? Yes. That, that white man statue. Uh, since I put it on super view mode, you guys can't see it properly, but we're gonna go in there, and I'm gonna narrate the story to you all about this wadipa right here. I mean, the reason why there's Guru Rinpoche statue up there, there's like this little monastery. I don't think you guys can see it properly. Probably because I put the settings to super view. But yeah, and we're gonna narrate it. And then let's get inside then. Let's get inside. Okay, bro. Wait a minute, first, wait, are we allowed to get inside? Yes, bro. Okay. So basically, long, so it's like long ago, this, this cow herder right here, lived okay and when and once a day when he was herding cows he found Guru Rinpoche resting on this boulder right here this boulder like Guru Rinpoche was resting on that's why you can see this Guru Rinpoche statue up there and turns out Guru Rinpoche looked very thirsty to the Wadipa so the Wadipa went to back went back to his hut to get some milk and probably she when he came back here he realized the Guru Rinpoche was already gone but he could catch up to him because he followed and by the time when he followed, he offered the milk uh, somewhere else, maybe. Maybe like there's this other way up there. And then this is not a joke, actually. Actually, uh, credits, credits to uh, Meme right here. Credits to Meme right here. He was the one who narrated the story. <laughs> credits to him. Credits to, credits to him right there. And then, yeah, that's it. And this is not uh, a folk tale or anything. It happened in real Probably because Guru Rinpoche rested on the boulder right here, right now. We did not move this from anywhere right here. It happened. And then also, I think the Wadipa followed Guru Rinpoche along that path up there. Up there. I don't think you guys can see it properly. I mean, he followed it up there. Up there. And probably they built this statue right here to show respect. To show respect to him because he's the one who offered milk. And then... And then there's, and then we're going to be continuing the path up there. I mean, it's gonna be a pretty long uh, time over there, but yeah, we're just gonna go up there, and it's gonna be amazing, isn't that right? Yes, bro. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So uh, right now, everyone's up there. Everyone's up there doing all the things. So probably we're just gonna go up there, and yeah, maybe we're just gonna do all types of these things. It's just really entertaining, not too entertaining to be honest, but. But yeah, uh, coming to Kolila wasn't a big mistake actually. I feel like I'm a local tourist, like Danker's Getaway actually. Danker's Getaway. I feel like I'm a local tourist or something. Local tourist or something. But yeah, so so Kolila is a very amazing place. If you guys want to see the Wadipa statue, then you can come here. Come here and witness it and even listen to the story to that um, Meme, I, Meme I told you, I mean, Meme I told you, so credits to him, credits to him and so, and very much thank you to him for narrating the story to all of us, it was very amazing, it was actually amazing, but then it's us, peace out. Peace out.